Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Today I'm playing a little bit of Dragon Blaze and here to bring you guys some patch news. Uh, so this won't be like an extremely long video, but it'll be kind of a decent link. But the first things that are actually coming to the game are actually pretty nice. And the first things that have already came to the game is pretty nice. You guys know I only post like once a day when it comes to Dragon Blaze videos. And you guys probably noticed already. But the skins for the Overlords are finally here. So for Aaron, you have to log in seven days. For Ban, you have to log in three days. As for Chin, you have to do 200 dungeons, which is pretty much just what everybody does every day. It's just auto farm. And well, yeah, Challenger Dungeon counts as well towards this. Just letting you guys know that. As for Ren Ren, you have to do daily dungeons, which is pretty much our little dungeons and challenger side over here. If I can ever go in game, thank you. You go over here to daily dungeons and just do five rounds of this. So it's not like do like five of like these. Let's just say you want to do this, 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 this. No, it's not like that. So pretty much each place gives you an entry of three times. If you want to purchase this as six. So each time you enter is going to be counted. I thought it was apparently doing like all five, but I quickly figured out that it was just entering them multiple times. So I could have done this three times and this three times. That would have equaled up to six. So easy. All right, next out of that is Miyu, and you gotta do Arena with her 20 times, which is pretty straightforward, easy. Probably the, one of the easiest one to do, and probably the quickest out of all of these. Well, next to Ran Ran. Uh, next is Momo, and his is just do tag 20 times, which kind of took a while to be honest I just put it on auto <laughs> I won't even lie I put it on auto and just let it take the will from there you just got to play you don't have to win them and as for Ion hers hers kind of got on my nerves a little bit so I did a 15 in one day so pretty much what you can do is buy some more entries for 20 rubies and I didn't feel like doing this every single day because I knew I would forget about her sooner or later. So I just pretty much did the 15 in one day and yes, then the next day I pretty much did 10. So yeah, that was pretty easy. And yeah, those are some of the skins. I would show you all of them, but I don't have all the characters. So I can only show you guys the ones I do have. And that's Chin and bands which i just turned off because i'm not a big fan of it so i just keep them at normal default and then we got momo aaron i'm not a big fan of her skin also because i already know these skins were coming anyway because the korean version i got them i already seen them way before then and not a big fan of her skin because it it seems more like a censorship skin if anything so does uh, Miyu's, but Miyu's kind of look like really good to me, to me at least, even though it is kind of a censoring as well. So yeah, that's how I feel about those skins. The rest of them are pretty decent, but they're kind of like recolors, if anything, except for Momo's, his is kind of different. Well, the only thing that's actually different is his orb that he sits on. It's actually a disco ball. <laughs> To be honest, I think that's my favorite so far. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into some of the patch news. Um, if you guys have not known about this uh, special login rewards, uh, let's talk about it. Well, eh, maybe I shouldn't have went into this one because this one takes forever to load in. And let's just go down here and go into it. Even though I was already in. You know what? We're not gonna, don't talk about it. <laughs> All right, allow me to explain this one. Some people were kind of confused about it. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty much is, if you're thinking to yourself, I didn't get my rewards yet, or why aren't they giving these rewards yet? Uh, this was actually pretty straightforward. Um, 
You have to log in between these days. Then on June the 11th or June the 13th, you guys get the rewards. So that's pretty much when they are released. You just have to log in between these days. And if you are a new player, you get a free Overlord reward. Which means you'll basically be getting two, is what I'm thinking. Because don't you supposed to be getting another one for like the login? Or maybe that one's already passed. Not really sure. Returning players also get one as well. So if you're a returning player, go ahead and pick that up. As long as you guys are logging in between those days. Once it's past the TIFF and it's already over, you guys cannot receive it afterwards. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing something else. Uh, hold on. Let me look for something else. Oh, yeah. There is a strategy event going on, too, for people making guides and stuff like that. Um, pretty much the grand prize winner gets 20k rubies. And the other ones who also are kind of in lastish are given 10k so make sure to look at this contest if you guys want to join that one i'm not a big fan of joining contests so yeah i'm going to avoid the strategy contest oh here it is this is what i wanted to look at if you guys are wondering the amount of essence you're going to get through this whole like week uh here they are not only that we do have a lot of Triple S is coming as well, if you guys want to take a ahead look of that as well. Which aren't really important, but yeah, you'll see them either way. I still haven't done Golem, so I'm going to do that now and just pretty much wrap up a little bit here. So for those of you guys who like joining in my um, Guild Adventure streams, um, they will be moving to Twitch once June hits. I know, I know, you guys don't like that, but I will be uploading that part of the stream onto YouTube, so you guys will still be able to see my Guild Adventure scores on YouTube, just in case you guys don't want to use Twitch or anything. Twitch is basically just pretty much an all-out gaming site, is what it is, so you can't really dislike it because it's just a game site where people just stream, and it's been trusted. It's way bigger than well it's getting way bigger than YouTube but yeah just let you guys know that um, but if I do any other like Dragon Blaze streams it'll probably be on my Twitch stream so if you guys want to you can go ahead and follow the Twitch stream just in case you guys are still interested in watching that because in June wait what is the next Oh, actually, yeah, the next Guild Adventure stream is going to be on the 2nd of June. So, yeah, I guess uh, the 26th was our last Guild Adventure stream on YouTube. Well then, okay, <laughs> good to know. So, yeah, if you guys want to continue to watch them live, do make sure just to follow the stream. And I'll even let you guys know if I am streaming on Twitch because I already have like a little video ready to post up anytime I'm starting to stream on Twitch. So just to notify you guys. So no worries behind that if you guys are just wanting to watch and not follow. It is all good. But the thing is on Twitch we're going to be doing a lot of different things. We're just going to be playing a lot of different games. A lot of, you know, it's giving me a lot more freedom to where I can play with my friends and chill with them. You know, um, what else, what else? I can play Dragon Blades a lot longer than the four hours, or I can play other games longer than four hours. And it's just gonna be all around fun because also people want me to play more horror games, so. Horror games, it is. Our first game we're gonna be playing on the stream when it hits June the 1st is Little Nightmares. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can stop by. But enough about the stream. Um, right now, as for progress on Dragon Blaze, I am farming up gears. 
because my gears are out of date. If you guys don't know, I've been using 123 gears for a while and 129 gears are already out. So farming that, it's really annoying because we kind of die pretty often <laughs> and I'm wasting scrolls again. But it's actually pretty nice to see that difficulty has stepped up again and we're actually, you know, taking a bit of damage and we're not just tanking everything like the other bosses we've been through. So, yeah, pretty much a straight jump up in difficulty so far. I still haven't done Tower just because Tower is insane. Tower even one-shots my Max Overlords, which is pretty insane as well. I think I, all I need is Kronos to arc and that's it. But then again, it doesn't stop anything if Chin and Aaron dies. Because Chrono would just be the only one standing there. Freaking floor 50 is... Well, floor 51 is pretty annoying to try and get through. As for the Orc raid, which is pretty much in Challenger Gore, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's in Challenger Gorg, I think. I don't remember by heart. And I've been playing this game for how long? Yeah, don't worry about it. But yeah, I, that one, that progress is actually pretty, coming along pretty nicely. But sometimes I do die at the, at the end boss. I'm able to get to the end boss pretty easy, but he kind of wrecks me afterwards. Um, as for ROB, I can actually get through that easily now. There's no more issues now that I've gotten two overlords to max. Um, I actually thought about it. I'm going to be working on Momo instead of Ban because Momo gives that extra damage and his buffs are like really nice. And once I got him, well once I get him to max he's going to be adding on times that damage he's doing right now. Well he's giving right now. I would show the difference between the runs with Momo and the runs without him, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a decent Paladin that can actually show you guys the difference of that, or one that's even equal to Momo's strength, even at, <laughs> you know, zero enhancement. I mean, he's actually pretty decent at base enhancement, I, because his, his buffs are still pretty much adding on that extra damage, pretty sure it adds on random damage or additional damage not sure but he actually is keeping everybody alive which is pretty nice also because he does have a heal Jesus Christ also it seems like we've completely passed my um, golem score and this was before um, Chin was max and now that she's max this is the damage I'm doing now that's actually pretty nice so yeah, I'm getting through the game pretty averagely, or yeah, more than, and slimly more than average. But you gotta remember, this is from a free person perspective. I've never used money on this game at all. Like, never spent cash. This is just a straight up free account. All I do is literally set the game on farm and sleep. So I just farm all of my essence, all of my allies. Pretty much every single night even though I missed a couple of nights because um, reasons let's let's just say that <laughs> but yeah that's mostly all I do and I am on emulators so it does make it easier to farm because I don't have to worry about my battery dying on my phone or anything so yeah emulator does make your life a lot easier when it comes to Dragon Blaze if, especially if you want to auto farm through the night so yeah I would recommend it but other than that if you don't have a PC that can handle an emulator or have a PC at all I would say that you're gonna be kind of behind unless you have a really good charger <laughs> unless you have a really good phone that can handle a game just being played overnight because I know there are some phones that pretty much start dying even though it's on a charger but it also has a game playing so the game is kind of draining it faster than it can charge but my phone doesn't do that I could use my phone just to farm which I do sometimes but not extremely often just because I wanted to charge a little bit faster but 
yeah, if you have a phone like that, that really dies more than charge, uh, it, yeah, you're going to be a little bit behind. And that is our score. All right. Sweet. Not bad, to be honest. Way better than our score. Oh, my God. Shin did the most damage out of Aaron. What? That's... That's actually pretty impressive, considering that her tree that she has has pretty much sort of DPS on it. So, yeah, now that the trees are combined, I'm constantly dealing damage and constantly healing. So, Chin is, like, really nice to have. Aaron is definitely a recommendation to have, though, first. If you get her, max her out first before you get to Chin, because this is where the damage is at. And Chin, she did show herself and make herself shine and known inside of Golem, but Chin, but Chin is still not as strong as Aaron, though. She can outshine her inside of Golem, apparently, though. <laughs> but that's actually pretty nice, man. And I got that. Sweet. Also, there is a thing that most people still have not realized that I need to show you guys. Hopefully I'll have enough that I can convert over after this. Uh, let's search for a few. Oh, there's a mage. Hopefully this will be five. Really hoping this is five. Ah, oh, it's one. So basically, since I can't really show you guys, <laughs> If I, let's say if I had five souls here, which you have to have five souls to convert. Um, I can convert it to rogue souls, but I would have to have one rogue soul on this. So let's say if I wanted to convert it to my encanter right now, I can't because she doesn't have a soul. If you have zero souls, it won't let you convert over. And when you convert from five souls to another, you would get five souls over here, but it would consume one of your souls just to convert over. So let's say I have one soul right here. I'll convert these, these five over to here, and this would just be five, and this would be zero. So you won't get six, you will get five. Uh, hopefully that does explain it that but if I ever get the chance to actually show you guys that I will show you guys that but until then guys I will leave you guys with that hope you guys enjoyed and to then see you guys on the next video or live stream peace out Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose?